Instructions are in English, so that's good. Comes with a cleaning brush, power cord, and then a secondary screen for bill count display, it looks like. Oh yeah, very nice, check that out. Pop the top here. Ooh, look at that, there it is. All right, wow, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's got a good weight to it, probably weighs 25 pounds. Uh, let's see, the screen, and it's L, uh, LCD screen, about five inches by three, five inches by two and a half inches. Um, you can see the fingers here, right here, for um, actuating or moving the bills. A nice kind of plastic, little plastic hopper right here. Let's give you a look at it. On and off switch. Uh, an outlet for the uh, screen, uh, secondary screen, then obviously the plug. All right, the back here, it says bills. They want the bills placed in here straight up and down, not on an angle. So basically up against, they won't lean it forward. Um, then this is a bunch of counterfeit detections. So it'll be fun to test those. And on the side here, it tells you the error codes. So if it does detect counterfeit notes, uh, it'll display here. So EE1, EE2, and EE6, suspicious note. EE4, it's a half note. EE5, a double note. Uh, EE7, slanting, uh, that's the error. Uh, EE8 and 9, with error. And EEA is a chain note. So if you're having an issue with, uh, uh, let's power this up and try it out. Perfect. All right, got some money here. Let's put it to the test. All right, so I'm gonna square the stack up. I'm gonna put it in. So it wants it in like that. There we go. Showing the count, 72 bills, 72 bills. Let's throw the rest in. Very cool. Hundred and forty, perfect. Let's do that again. Nope, gotta flip it back. Uh oh, missed a bill. So let's go ahead and try it again. Hundred and forty. There we go. All right, so let's square the stack up, and we'll run these through again. Hundred and forty. Add a girl. Slide it back to the back. See if it jams it. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Yeah. See, the count's off. So it definitely wants you to put them in straight up and down and then let it go itself. Hundred and forty, perfect. Very nice. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of this machine. So this machine is capable of detecting counterfeit bills. It has an ultraviolet counterfeit detection. Uh, it has magnetic thread and infrared uh, magnetic, so it can detect the magnetic thread in the bills to make sure it's property, and then it uses infrared light as well. So you can turn the functions on and off using the function uh, switch. Right now you see none of the enunciators are illuminated. One press, all your counterfeit detection is working. You can turn off the magnetic thread or then turn it all off. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see, uh, see what happens. Uh-oh, EE2, what's EE2? 
Well, EE1, 2, and 6. Suspicious note. Wow. One note. Suspicious. Another note. Suspicious. Another note. Suspicious. That's right. This thing's working. It's detecting all the counterfeit money. So, let's go ahead and turn off... Let's reset it. Actually, I'm going to take all this out. Because all this is play money. It's not real. I'm just testing out the bill counter with it. So, let's go ahead and... We'll reset it, and it had all of the uh, counterfeit detection measures on. We'll turn off the metal thread measure and see what happens. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stack in half. Just these machines have a better time with a, a more, you know, uh, manageable stack of money. All right, so first bill through detects EE1. It's a suspicious bill. Um, two, three, every one you pull out. See, it detects they're, again, all counterfeit, you know, or they're not counterfeit, but these are uh, just play money. So it's detecting the anomaly in the currency. Very cool. Okay, so this machine has a batch feature. A batch is basically an, a feature you can set up so it will count a predetermined number of bills. So if you want your batch to be a batch of 10 bills, what you'll do is you'll push the batch button. Right now the batch comes up as 100 bills. Uh, batch and then you say add 10 right there so batch of 10 bills so so we'll take some money we'll put it through and it'll count 10 bills and stop so there's 10 that's a batch of 10 that's another batch of 10 so now we have 20 bills so one one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. Same here, another batch of ten, another batch of ten, another batch of ten. So there we go. And so it's it's doling it out in stacks of ten, but it's keeping an accurate count. Now you can increase or decrease the batch just using these numbers here. So now say we want to do a batch of five. You throw the money in, there's five bills. Five and so on. And you can do it all the way up to a batch of 100. Okay, another feature of this machine, it has an auto mode or a manual mode. You can see the annunciator light right here uh, illuminates to say it's in auto mode. So when it's in auto mode, it'll just start counting. You put the money in and it runs through it. If you want it to start when you put in the money, uh, you want it to start manually, then you put it in manual mode. And then to, in order to start it, you'll hit the reset button. So the money's in, hit reset, and there you have it. And let's not uh, forget about our little additional display over there. So it's working very nice. So we've, in summary, we've tested out this machine. I've shown you the batch modes. I've shown you guys all the different counterfeit features um, and adding and subtracting uh, batches uh, that you can add to the count for the total. Uh, manual and automatic mode and uh, yeah, it's a it's a very nice machine I uh, think that for the money. It's a good value and uh, so far this machine is probably the best one I've uh, checked out to date as it can count a large stack of bills and not get jammed up pretty much all the other machines of this size that I was Testing in the past there that I have tested in the past a large stack of bills anything over 80 to 100 bills just jams the machines up so uh, this one seems to be uh, pretty capable as it doesn't jam easily. This is a great machine. I think it's a value for the price and I recommend it.